Hello and welcome. You're on board the news track. I'm Rahul Kamal. On the show this evening, an India Today special investigation, the Sonali Fogart murder files. Death, drugs and dhoka. Sonali Fogart murder unravels. Mystery over injuries on body. Curious case of Goa Shack Curlies. India Today uncovers the truth. The Sonali Fogart murder files. An India Today special investigation at 8 p.m. Drugs, death and dhoka. The Sonali Fogart murder is unraveling and how. Her personal assistant, his associate are already under arrest. There are videos of Sonali being forced to have a spiked drink. India Today's special investigation team has uncovered more murky details about the events surrounding Sonali's death. The doctor who conducted the autopsy in Goa has made some stunning revelations. Here is part one of India Today's special investigation, the Sonali Fogart murder files. Untouched forest, swaying palms, a lush passage to a seafront shack. A restaurant that packs untrammeled hedonism inside. Sonali Fogart was allegedly drugged here while partying. Rules apparently bent. Inhibitions lost. And consequences turned fatal for the former TikTok star. An imminent closure of Curly's restaurant in sight. With the Goa police now moving to have its permit cancelled. हमने गोवा सरकार को लिख दिया है स्ट्रांगली रिकमेंड करके कि इस केस की सीबीआई जांच कराने के लिए वो कार्रवाई करें एज द फोगाट केस स्नोबॉल्स इंडिया टुडे हैज रीच्ड आउट टू वन ऑफ द टू सीनियर डॉक्टर्स इन्वॉल्व्ड इन द पोस्टमार्टम डॉक्टर मंदार कांतक कैंडिडली शेयर्ड हिज ओपिनियन टर्न्स आउट दैट द ऑटोप्सी ही कंडक्टेड हैज रिवील्ड multiple external injuries on the woman's body injury kis body kis part mein hai body mein hai har jagah hai pure body mein injury hai aur less bahar haath mein pair mein around the lower legs i said no legs buttocks thighs so injury hai chala wo giri aur usne he hit the wall in the toilet that is what the accused said that is uske yahan pe bhi hai अंदर नहीं है बाहर छोटा है लेकिन सेवन पेजेस रिपोर्ट एवरी डिटेल इज रिटर्न इन दैट देर इज नथिंग रैप फॉर डिस्कशन इन दैट इफ फर्दर डिस्कशन इज रिक्वायर्ड इट कैन ओनली कम आफ्टर आई गेट ऑल दिस रिपोर्ट फोगाट वॉज डिक्लेयर्ड डेड ऑन अराइवल एट गोवा सेंट एंथनी हॉस्पिटल अर्ली ट्यूजडे हर फैमिली विद हेल्ड कंसेंट फॉर ऑटोपसी टिल थर्सडे Dr Mandar Kantak fears the two day delay in Fogart's postmortem could prove critical in determining the drug overdose. In his opinion, the viscera samples must be examined in a designated lab without further delay. 
तो दो दिन के बाद दो दिन वो बैठ के क्या कर रहे थे और किया तो क्या किया वो मुझे मालूम नहीं आपके पास बॉडी दो दिन बाद आई है नहीं बॉडी इधर थी लेकिन पोस्टमार्टम एक दो दिन बाद हुआ ना क्योंकि दो दिन के बाद जो रिपोर्ट हमको दिया उन्होंने एक ही नहीं लिखा नेचुरल कुछ नहीं देर इज कुछ नहीं ऐसे पैची दे तो ब्लाइंड केस आपको दिया सब कुछ मालूम होते हुए भी तो आपका क्या परिस्थिति होगी तुम ये क्या होता है ना जब रोज ये मेरे को द पावर इज मेरे को हु वॉन्ट्स टू टर्न इट द वे ही और शी वॉन्ट्स नहीं टर्न तुम कौन मैं दो हम क्या हम तो सिख सर्वेंट है और एम्प्लॉई है हमारा साइंटिफिक जितना है हम करेंगे और उतना ही किया हमने ड्रग्स नॉट पॉइजन पॉइजन इन ड्रग्स इन पॉइजन है ना फॉर एस ड्रग इज अ पॉइजन अच्छा नार्कोटिक ड्रग्स साइकोट्रॉपिक सिस्टम एवरीथिंग विच इज कॉजिंग हार्म इज फॉर पॉइजन अब उसमें एक कॉम्बिनेशन क्या है अल्कोहल हो सकता है दूसरा हो सकता है हमको मान लें आना एंड आई होप इट कम पॉजिटिव क्योंकि ये ड्रग्स ना स्पेशली दिस साइकेडेलिक्स एंड ऑल दिस दे आर ट्रांसजेंट ड्रग्स दे आर टेकन ओनली फॉर ओनली इफेक्ट फॉर फ्यू आवर्स आई होप इट गेट इट डन फास्ट दैट इज ओनली आई होप तो कब भेजना है पुलिस डिसाइड करती है हमने उनको दिया है ऑलरेडी अब वो एड्रेस चेंज कर रहे हैं कहाँ पे भेजना है फिर कब में भेजना है उनके मन में आएगा तब भेजेंगे दिस इज वॉट दिस डिले इज एवरी फटाफट भेजा तो अच्छा होगा ये आप डिसाइड नहीं करते हैं नहीं पुलिस डिसाइड करती है कि किस फॉरेंसिक लैब में जाएगा या कहीं नहीं भेज सकते तो ये हार्ट अटैक हुआ या फिर क्या हुआ हार्ट का कुछ नहीं है हार्ट हमने टेस्ट के लिए रखा अच्छा सब टेस्ट के लिए रखा इनिशियल में हार्ट का कुछ नहीं है बाय लास्ट नहीं बोला इसलिए पुलिस ने हमने टेस्ट के लिए रखा क्योंकि ये सब है ना हार्ट 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 बोल रहे तो फिर कॉज ऑफ डेथ फिर क्या था हमने रिजर्व रखा है ना सब हॉन्टेड वंस अगेन बाय इट्स ओन इजी गोइंग कल्चर ड्रग्स एंड द अलेजेड मर्डर ऑफ अ फॉर्मर सोशल मीडिया स्टार अर्न्स गोवा अ डार्कर रेप्यूटेशन वंस अगेन A report by special investigation teams Muhammad Hizbullah for India Today. At the center of the Sonali Fogat murder case is a shack in Goa's Anjuna Beach, Curlies. This is where Sonali partied the night before she died. This is where she was given MDMA by her personal assistant. The shack owner has now admitted that he allowed drugs at his joint. but it's been an open secret in goa that drugs are available and consumed commonly at curlies so who allowed these brazen violations here is part 2 of india today's special investigation it's golden sand it's stunning blue waves its beach shacks little churches and classic castles but this eden along the arabian sea is battling its own underbelly a series of murders rapes mystery deaths and drug related crimes over the past 15 years bear testimony to goa's malays The seafront restaurant is no stranger to controversy. Police suspect her assistant drugged Sonali Fogat at Curlies on the Anjuna beach. The same restaurant hit the headlines 14 years ago. Back then, the mother of British teenager Scarlett Keeling alleged her daughter had visited Curlies just before coming to the spot. where she was sexually assaulted and left to die
In the Fogart case, the management of Curleys stands accused of allowing narcotic activities on their property. An India Today investigation appears to corroborate the charge. Patrick Savio Almeida was the Sarpanch of Anjuna Panchayat from 2012 till the 12th of August this year. Almeida insisted he received numerous complaints about drug use at Chinna is a drug peddler, supplying drugs like LSD, MDMA and ganja to Goa's famed beaches and restaurants, Curly's included. V. Pednekar is a manager at Curly's. When probed, he confessed drug consumption by guests is common at his Anjuna Beach restaurant. As an employee, though, Pednekar couldn't do much to stop it. अभी कल भी एक कस्टमर इधर ब्रेकफास्ट में बैठा था मैं आपको सिंसेरी बोल रहा हूँ उसके पास भी कुछ था वो रोल कर रहा था मैंने बोला सर ये क्या है मैंने बोला ठीक सर जस्ट पे माय बिल एंड प्लीज गो फ्रॉम मी तो डेली कितने लोगों को आपको बाहर हटाना पड़ता है यहाँ से मतलब जैसे कि डेली कितने आप लोगों को लगता है कि ड्रग लिया हुआ है या फिर कुछ रोल करके पी रहा है तो कितने लोगों को आप लोग हटा देते हैं भाई जाओ मैक्स टू मैक्स ऐसा आठ नौ कस्टमर हमको दिन में मिल जाते हैं बाहर से आते हैं एक बियर लेते हैं इधर बैठ जाते हैं हमारा कुछ भी नहीं है बियर हमारा टेबल हमारा रेस्टोरेंट हमारा बाकी बाकी क्या ये तो मतलब आप कह रहे हैं आठ दस लोगों को डेली आप लोग निकालते हैं पाउसल रहते हैं ना तो बिल क्लियर करके जाओ भाई तो हम लोग तुमको हैंडल नहीं कर सकते बाकी दूसरे कस्टमर को इधर कस्टमर आते हैं इसको लेने के लेस्टेन आप ही कभी कह रहे थे आठ दस लोगों को डेली हम निकालते हैं ठीक आई विल नॉट राइट यूर नेम सो आप इनको यहाँ से हटाने के बजाय पुलिस को क्यों नहीं कॉल कर लेते कि पुलिस आओ इसको ले जाओ या ड्रग से इसके पास नहीं सर एक बार हमारे पेमाजी से वो चला गया मतलब हमारा प्रॉब्लम नहीं है मैं पुलिस को बुलाकर खाली दूसरा कस्टमर को ये को हट नहीं करना चाहता है नहीं पुलिस इधर आए मुझे ये भी नहीं चाहिए बिकॉज मोस्टली फुल फैमिली जाती है डिनर करती रहती है तो रिलैक्स करते बैठते हैं बातें करते हैं अच्छा पुलिस आ गई है और ये भाई क्या चक्कर है इधर पुलिस भी आती है ऐसा होता है फिर नेगेटिव थिंकिंग होता है तो इससे अच्छा कस्टमर को ही बोलो सीरियसली भाई सर आप पेमेंट करो और जाओ The notorious record of Curleys has now come haunting. Police in Goa have initiated the process to have its license revoked. But it's not about just one restaurant. It's about Goa's paradise reputation. Unraveled 
by violent crimes and drugs in a decade and a half. High time the dreamy idyll moved to reverse its sinking fortunes. A report by special investigation teams Mohammad Hezbollah and Arvind Ojha for India Today. To talk about this big India Today investigation and the Sonali Fogat case in general, I want to go across live and exclusive to Panjimin Goa where I'm joined by the state's Director General of Police, Jaspal Singh. He's the man leading the teams investigating this sensational murder mystery. Mr. Singh, welcome to India today. This is a case that's being tracked nationwide. Sonali Fogart, because of her TikTok and social media renown, uh, was well known in the northern parts of our country. Uh, can you start by telling me about where the Goa Police's investigation stands as of today? Mr. Singh. Uh, as of now, the investigation is just about uh, five days old. And uh, initially, because uh, there was no injuries on the body of the deceased, so we were just taking it as a case of 174 CRPC, that is unnatural death. And uh, subsequently, when the family members came on 23rd August, then they expressed certain apprehensions, they raised suspicions mm -hmm. on certain individuals and subsequently uh, we registered a case of murder and started the investigation in a very earnest way and th the two people were placed under arrest and uh, now one team from Goa police has already reached Hisar also to verify the allegations leveled by the family uh, these two persons are in police custody and uh, we are interrogating them and at the same time uh, we have also recorded the statements of uh, other witnesses who were there at that time in that particular restaurant to establish the okay. sequence of uh, you know events which led ultimately uh, to the death of late uh, Mrs. Uh, Sonali Foget and um, the investigation is in progress and we will definitely reach at some conclusion after some time. The, the initial reports that came out of Goa had the police seeming to suggest Sonali died of a heart attack. Why was the police initially in such a rush to call this a case of heart attack? Why, were, why did it seem that you were looking to jump the gun initially? No, no, Goa police never said initially that it is a heart attack. It was basically the person, uh, uh, the, the one who is now in our custody, he spoke to somebody in Haryana and uh, from Haryana, even the Director General of Police Haryana also uh, spoke to me that so and so has probably uh, died of heart attack and we want to know what has exactly happened. So this is how the information, uh, you know, travelled and uh, when our officers reached the uh, concerned St. Anthony Hospital and um, found out, so the local doctors who were, <coughs> who had examined the uh, deceased, they probably uh, came to some conclusion that probably the, the, the symptoms were of heart attack and this is how the message, you know, because we had not even taken the body in possession at that time. India Today's own investigation from Goa suggests that Sonali's body had external injury marks. The question that would be uppermost in everybody's mind is how did the TikTok star die? Was she poisoned? Was she beaten up? How is it that Sonali ended up dead? I know those injuries which are there on the body, they could not have come by, you know, assaulting or, you know, by any impact injury. They are just injuries of force when some force is vertically uh, supplied on the body because when she was picked up from uh, <coughs> Curly's hospital, so the injuries are on those parts where the, the these individuals applied the pressure in lifting the body up and putting the body in the car. So those injuries are of very small dimension and they are not exactly uh, referred to as injury, they are just abrasions 
So this is how it is. India Today's expose uh, caught drug peddlers, the manager of uh, the Curly Shack, on camera accepting that drugs are sold at this particular shack in Anjuna and suggesting that the local authorities and the Goa police know about it and they seem to be on the take to allow this to happen. How do you respond, Mr. DGP? No, it is incorrect to say that because Goa police uh, uh, has a zero tolerance policy. We have arrested a number of uh, drug peddlers and not only Indians but foreigners also and uh, we have seized huge quantity primarily being an iconic tourist destination. Tourists from here and there in different modes of transportation they travel to Goa. So probably in certain cases we sometimes found when, uh, when we set arrested certain people that they bring small quantity of drugs for their consumption from other states as well. So we have uh, so far arrested large number of people and uh, even after this incident also uh, four people have been arrested including the uh, caretaker and the person who is in control of the Curly's uh, restaurant. Goa is India's holiday capital. What do you intend to do about acting against Curly's? Uh, do you have a larger plan for a clampdown on this drug authority mafia? Will life just return to normal and these rave parties and drug jamborees go on in the way that they were? Or do you have a plan for acting against this uh, drug syndicate? Uh, you see, it is, it is basically small time drug battlers. There is no mafia operating in Goa and uh, the quantity seized also is in very small quantity. It's not like that because we are not closer to any international border and uh, even maritime traffic is also uh, very limited to Goa. So uh, we, we, we don't see it that way. It is just that it is a iconic tourist destination like any other Indian tourist destination where large number of tourists come and readily demand is available. People have the purchasing power. So the drug scenario, the structure of the drug scenario is different in Goa as compared to the locations which are closer to international border or which are closer to international maritime boundary. So it is, you can say in police parlance, we say it's a consumption center, small quantity consumption center. Sure, but do you intend to act against places where these drugs are being provided uh, for consumption? What action do you intend to take against Curly's, for example? Why don't you cancel its license? Uh, well, we are not the licensing authority. Uh, uh, yesterday, a joint inspection was carried out uh, by our subdivisional police officer and the executive magistrate. So, we will submit these findings and uh, we will also write to the licensing authority that since uh, uh, these, these incidents have happened in the past also, so we would recommend that uh, the license of the owner should be cancelled. Uh, before I conclude, what happens next? Uh, are you confident that you'll be able to crack the Sunali murder uh, case files? What, according to you, is the motive behind this murder? Why is it that Sunali was killed? Uh, you see, we are, as I said earlier, that we are at a very initial stage of investigation. Mm -hmm. The case was registered on 23rd and uh, today we are on 31st. Our team is in Hisar. They will go to Gurgama also. They will go to Noida also because family members expressed a suspicion that she has probably been killed because of the property. Uh, the team would look into all aspects even about the banking accounts of the deceased also, okay, who is the nominee in those accounts. So there are a number of uh, ways in arriving at the motive of the, uh, the, the murder or whether it is a homicidal, uh, not amounting to murder, it murder. But though we have registered a case and we are going as if it is a murder and all kinds of uh, leads are being pursued. So we will leave no stone unturned 
to arrive at any conclusion. I leave it over there. Mr. Jaspal Singh, Director General of Police in Goa, speaking out for the first time on the Sonali Fogart murder files. I want to go across now to our guests who are joining us to talk about this big India Today investigation, starting with Vikas Singhmar. He's a nephew of uh, uh, Sonali Fogart. Sachin Fogart is another relative of uh, Sonali. Dr. Sabina Martins joins us, founder of Belancho Saad. Uh, works against the drug mafia in Goa and I have a special guest joining me Fiona McCoven she is Scarlet Keeling's mother the Scarlet Keeling case still shocks people when people look at the gory details of what happened to young Scarlet Keeling and remember uh, one part of that case also played itself out at the same shack in Anjuna in Goa so I want to go across uh, first to uh, you know, the mother of uh, Scarlett Keeling, Fiona McHoven, you're looking, ma'am, at this case, part of it playing itself out once again at Curly's in Anjuna, a place which I'm sure, you know, has left a deep scar in your, in, in your heart. Uh, now when you see the fact that m not much seems to have changed since that gruesome murder of young Scarlett, uh, you know, w what goes through your mind as you see all the details about the Sonali Pogat case? coming out in the public domain? Uh, well, not much has changed is what goes through my mind, really. Um, but, but why should it? When, you know, years ago, when uh, I think it was Mika Pacheco uh, uh, opened a case against the Home Minister and his son then, trying to unproved connections between him and mm -hmm. the drug mafia, there were the famous huge videos of Tara and uh, Roy Nike and uh, smoking a bong together and a Tala buying drugs from a policeman. So how can the police deny that any of this is true now? It's, you know, it's still going on. And, and the fact that nothing was done is going to give confidence to any other minister's children to, to believe that they're above the law. Are you hopeful, given the kind of attention this particular case is attracting, that uh, we just heard the DGP say that the license is being cancelled and Curly's is being acted against, that there will be some action against the drug criminal nexus mafia that operates in Goa or do you think this is just very ephemeral, uh, it will happen just in the time there is media attention and then things will come back to normal? I'm always hopeful but it is, I've heard it all before to be quite honest and I've been watching you know the news and these cases in Goa for 15 years now mm -hmm. and um, I still haven't seen anybody actually take any strong action against the criminals that think they're above the law, you know, although they're being proven that they're above the law, they're, they're getting away with um, drugs and murder and nothing's being done. That's quite unfortunate, naturally, given the fact that, uh, you know, the Scarlet Keeling case is still in people's memories and that not much has changed since, would seem to suggest that there isn't really much reason for hope. Stay with me, Fiona. I want to go across to Vikas Singhmar. He's a nephew of uh, uh, Sonali Fogart. And we've got Sachin Fogart as well. Vikas or Sachin, aap ye batayin sabse pehle ki ye aapke hisab se Sunali Fogart ke saath kya hua? Jitni jankari aapke paas hai, jo aap unko pehle se unke baare mein jitna jante the, us sabke hisab se aapke aapke anusar Sunali ki hatya kisne ki aur kyu? Hello. Ji bolie bolie. हेलो मैं सुन सकता हूं ये सोनाली फोगाट जी की हत्या सुधीर सांगवान ने सुधीर सांगवान ने की है आपके हिसाब से क्यों की है उनकी हत्या हेलो सर ये कोई प्रॉपर्टी का चक्कर भी हो सकता है और इसके पीछे किसी का हाथ भी हो सकता है हत्या करने में उसने सो, सोची समझी साजिश के तहत ही हत्या की गई है क्योंकि पहले सोनाली फोगाट जी को चंडीगढ़ ले जाया गया उसके बाद गो, उसके बाद बॉम्बे बॉम्बे से गोवा ये सोची समझी चाल के तहत ही उनको गोवा ले जाया गया था और उनको मतलब ड्रग्स या कोई मतलब जहरीला केमिकल पिलाकर उनकी हत्या की गई है नहीं तो ये जो दोनों लोग हैं शिवम और सुखविंदर जिनको इस केस में अक्यूज बनाया गया है आरोपी बनाया गया है आपके हिसाब से उनका क्या कनेक्शन था सोनाली फोगाट के केस के साथ और इस मर्डर के साथ सर जो ये शिवम और सुखविंदर हैं सुखविंदर तो इसके साथ था 
सुधीर सांगवान के साथ गोवा गया था और ये मतलब इसमें दो, दोनों का हाथ था सुखविंदर का और सुधीर का और शिवम जो है यहाँ पे मतलब कंप्यूटर ऑपरेटर का काम करता था फार्म पे सोनाली फोगाट जी के फार्म पे जी। और इसके सुधीर सांगवान के कहने से ही सुधीर सांगवान के कहने से ही वो मतलब लैपटॉप और मोबाइल डी और जरूरी दस्तावेज यहाँ से चुरा के ले गया था नहीं ताकि सारे सबूत मिटाए जा सके जो ये केस निकल के सामने आ रहा है उसमें ऐसा बताया जा रहा है कि सोनाली फोगट का एक फार्म हाउस था गुड़गांव में ग्रीन गुरुग्राम सोसाइटी में टावर फोर सेक्टर 102 फ्लैट नंबर 901 और इसको सुधीर सांगवान ट्रांसफर करा रहा था अपने नाम पे तो ये जो पूरा मामला है उसके बारे में आप क्या क्या जानकारी सर सुधीर सांगवान ने 10-12 दिन पहले ही इस फार्म फार्म के मतलब दस्तावेज उसमें करवाए थे मतलब ये किसी और के पास था पहले मतलब जिस तरह कॉन्टेक्ट पे होता है उसके बाद मतलब इस, इसने हटवा दिया था और ये अपने फिराक में था कि इसको भी अपने उस पर चढ़वा के फार्म हाउस पे भी कब्जा कर ले नहीं पर ये सारी चीजें तो कैमरे पे कैप्चर है ना सोनाली फोगाट जी जी पर ये सारी चीजें तो कैमरे पे कैप्चर है तो ये इतने कच्चे खिलाड़ी कैसे हो सकते हैं अगर ये इनका मनसूबा था इसको इस तरीके से ड्रग करना तो ये पूरा की ड्रिंक पिला रहा है वो लेके जा रहा है ये सारा तो कैमरे पे कह दे ये तो खुद ही अपने आप को इंक्रिमिनेट कर रहे हैं एक तरीके से नहीं सर कैमरे में तो कह दे ये इसकी मतलब इसको पहले सोनाली फोगाट जी को इसने मतलब अपने पूरे कॉन्फिडेंस में लिया कॉन्फिडेंस में लेके इसने परिवार वालों से अलग करवाया है सोनाली फोगाट जी को परिवार वालों से बिल्कुल अलग कर दिया ना ही किसी परिवार वालों से बात करने देता ना ही किसी का फोन अटेंड करता अगर फोन करते तो बोल देता कि मैडम नहीं है बाहर गए हुए और नंबर वगैरह सब डिलीट कर देता था फैमिली मेंबर्स के पर क्यों ऐसा क्या हुआ सोनाली और उनकी फैमिली के रिश्ते में जिसकी वजह से सोनाली अपनी फैमिली से दूर हो गई सर सोनाली फोगाट को फैमिली से दूर करने वाला मात्र एक बंदा है सुधीर सांगवान जिसने मतलब सोची समझी चाल के तहत प्रॉपर्टी अडपने की कोशिश प्रॉपर्टी अडपने की कोशिश की इसलिए उसको फैमिली से दूर हटाना चाहता था क्योंकि फैमिली मेंबर जब तक साथ थे तो वो सोच रहा था कि इनको मतलब मतलब कुछ भी नहीं कर सकता मैं जब तक फैमिली मेंबर साथ है जब तक मैं इनका कुछ नहीं बिगाड़ सकता और फैमिली मेंबर को सबसे पहले अलग करना उसकी सोची समझी चाल थी ताकि वो मतलब अकेला मौके का फायदा उठाकर ये सब कुछ कर सके तो सुधीर और सोनाली का कितने वक्त से रिश्ता था कब से एक दूसरे को जानते थे आ, कैसे इन दोनों की जान पहचान हुई ये 2019 में इलेक्शन के टाइम में आदमपुर विधानसभा का इलेक्शन था उस टाइम में ये आया था पीए इसने पीए की भूमिका के रूप में आया था और तब से ही ये मतलब पूरा 24 घंटे साय की तरह मैडम के साथ था इसने मैडम को अपने फुल कॉन्फिडेंस में लेके ही परिवार वालों को अलग किया है और ये सारा हत्या का जो इसने हत्या की है ये सोची समझी साजिश के तहत की है नहीं आप ये कह रहे हैं और हो सकता है कि ये बात भी सही है लेकिन इसका आपके प्रमाण क्या है सबूत क्या है सर सबूत यही है क्योंकि मतलब मैडम का कोई प्रोग्राम नहीं था गोवा का कोई शूटिंग नहीं थी वहां पे परिवार वाले गोवा पहुंचे तो वहां पता किया वहां कोई शूटिंग नहीं थी इसकी सोची समझी चाल थी इसको पहले मैडम को बॉम्बे वहां चंडीगढ़ ले जाया गया चंडीगढ़ से बॉम्बे लेके गया और फिर सर इसने मतलब ड्रग्स और केमिकल पिलाया पानी की बोतल में तो ये हत्या करने के प्रयास से इसने किया है और मेरा एक दावा है कि हत्या इसी ने की सुधीर सांगवान ने ही ओके स्टे विद मी I also want to go across at this time to Sabina Martins. Uh, she works against the drug mafia that operates in Goa. And Sabina, we just heard from the Director General of Police, uh, Jashpal Singh. He seems to suggest that this is uh, not really a problem in Goa. That it's a very small consumption uh, side problem. Uh, that is not really a big player in the drug network in India and globally. You're on the ground. Do you buy that or do you think the local authorities are just trying to play the drug nexus down? No, the drug issue is being underplayed in Goa. It is a very big issue. Uh, tourists come, enjoy and uh, the environment that is created over here that you can have drugs, you can uh, gamble, you can, uh, do, uh, you can drink and so many other activities. And uh, this is the environment which is there and lots of crimes are happening and the impact is more on the local population. The local population, the families are in pain, distress because of this medicine of uh, drugs 
and uh, as a women's organization we have lots of cases of women coming to us now so apparently it looks as it is it is a case of domestic violence so when they come to us and then we realize that the person the husband is addicted uh, is a drug addict then we have uh, the uh, women who are selling uh, tea and uh, on the uh, road side they see a lot of uh, activities happening on the beach now they are threatened by these um, people who are peddling drugs so they come to us with their issues uh, we had a, a person from the shack who the, the widow had come because she had some issues and we realized that her husband died because of uh, this issue of drugs we had a case of minor who uh, was induced into drug and she came from a poor family and to um, keep her into uh, the addiction they introduced her to sexual activity the mother complained but the police did not register a complaint and we had gone right up to the dgp not the presence of dgp the former dgp but no action was taken so there are many many cases uh, which are drug related but everything is down grade and that's why right to salit healing time till to today nothing has changed on the ground fiona as you hear this uh, do you accept what the director general of police in goa just said that this is just a consumption side problem it's not really uh, a big player on the uh, on the drug network in india and globally or do you think he's just trying to underplay the drug problem in goa I think that's rubbish. I think that's rubbish. I think they they've always tried to play it down because if if they don't and they actually accept and face what's going on then they've got to take responsibility and do something and they haven't, you know. There there's many cases uh you know there I, I might have had somebody might have been convicted in our case in Scarlett's case but I don't know if that man is innocent or not. I still believe the home minister's son back then Roy Knight had something to do with it and there are the other cases. What about you know Felix Dahl and Dalian McLaughlin and Denise Sweeney all of those tourists have been murdered in goa and have had no justice yet they've all been promised fast track courts but that's all words you know action speak louder than words so what the dgp has got to say i don't accept i'm sorry mhm mm dr sabina the fact that curlies will now be acted against its license taken away do you think that's a start or do you think it's a too little too late and b given the connections of the owners of, uh, of uh, curlies that they could potentially uh get their license back in just a few weeks or months from now and then we could be back to square one dr sabina taking place uh, because of addiction they drive very fast a woman had come to us because her husband died and she told us a road accident that he was on drugs and because the vehicle was in her name she was also kind of dragged into that whole accident so accidents are taking place unnatural deaths are taking place so the domestic violence is taking place we have students uh, who have been caught uh, in this uh, there were uh, there were incident where the uh, security of one um, uh, big institution uh, was supplying drugs we have cases in the uh jail where uh, drugs are being supplied so this is uh, no small matter and because we don't look at this issue seriously that's why uh, action is not forthcoming you go to the northern belt you sit in a restaurant you can actually get the smell of drugs okay so the police know if a lay person can identify uh, what is there in the air i'm sure the police are trained we have a narcotic uh, cell which is dedicated to uh, you know nabbing uh, drug peddlers they are uh, uh, catching but i don't think they are going for the uh, persons who are the uh, who are bringing in large scale drugs is it these okay. small people uh, who get arrested what we've highlighted is very significant and i hope that more action is taken just acting against kalis isn't enough you need to go higher up the drug value chain and take action against those who run the syndicate and i don't believe for a fact that this is just a consumption side problem uh, there is plentiful availability of drugs in goa at a large scale and that needs to be acted against for the time being fiona mcuvan uh, vikas singhmar sachin fogat and savina martins for joining me on the news track thank you
I want to show our viewers now where the investigation stands at this moment. The investigation in this case is intensifying. Uh, the Goa police team is currently in Hisar in Haryana. This is where Fogart owned a farmhouse and a bungalow. Sonali's family alleges that Sonali was murdered because her personal assistant wanted to grab her property. The exact cause of Sonali Fogart's death still remains a mystery. The mood is somber at Sonali Fogart's family home in Hisar. A frenzied investigation underway less than 15 kilometers away on the city outskirts. Teams of Goa and Haryana police arrived at Fogart's 6.5 acre farmhouse. Sudhir Sangwan and Sukhvinder Singh, two of the five suspects under arrest in connection with the former TikTok star's alleged murder, are believed to have been frequent visitors to this sprawling estate. Goa police team has reached Sonali Fogart's farmhouse. We can see two Goa police team members along with the Haryana Hisar police officials have reached at the Sonali Fogart's farmhouse where they accused Sudhir Pal Sangwan and his friend used to be, regularly used to visit. Investigations by the police teams of the two states have now expanded into accusations that one of Sonali Fogart's assistants, Sudhir Sangwan, plotted to grab her properties in Hisar and Gurugram. वो काफी टाइम से ये सड़ियां तरच रहे जी कि इनको परिवार को सबसे पहले तो वही परिवार को दूर करें धीरे-धीरे फिर उसको काबू में लिया ताकि परिवार साथ नहीं देगा तो इसको मैं कुछ भी कर सकता हूँ उसने मतलब गुड़गांवा फ्लैट है वो भी अपने नाम किया है और भी कुछ ऐसी चीजें जो अभी तक हमें पता नहीं है उसकी डिटेल हम बाद में निकलवाएंगे सोनाली फोगार्ड्स इमीडिएट फैमिली हैज अलेज्ड प्रॉपर्टी रिलेटेड मोटिव बिहाइंड हर सस्पेक्टेड मर्डर गोवा पुलिस हरियाणा में आए और गुड़गांव फ्लैट को खोला जाए तो वहां सोनाली फोगार्ड के परिवारजनों की मौजूदगी में ही उनको खोला जाए क्योंकि आरोपियों के द्वारा पहले भी बहुत सबूत मिटा दिए गए हैं एन अकाउंटेंट ऑफ सोनाली फोगार्ड शिवम इज बीइंग क्वेश्चंड आफ्टर द फैमिली अलेज्ड ही मेड ऑफ विद digital and paper evidence of his employer's properties. A laptop recovered from him has been sent for forensic examination. Meantime, Goa police are staying put in Hisar for at least a day. The Fogart family continues to push its demand for a CBI probe into the alleged murder of the 43-year-old in Goa. Their call echoed by her party at the political level. परिवार की अपेक्षा जैसे उन्होंने मुख्यमंत्री जी के सामने जाहिर की थी या पहले भी उन्होंने जाहिर की है कि CBI जांच हो वो परिवार ने दोबारा कहा है मैं भी बात करूंगा गोवा के मुख्यमंत्री जी से हरियाणा के मुख्यमंत्री जी से भी आग्रह कराएंगे Police are treating Fogart's death as a murder case. Five suspects taken in so far, the drug and property angles being probed. But how she passed out still remains a mystery. A mystery till her Vesira samples are examined and reported to establish the exact cause of her death. With Manjeet Sehgal in Hisar and Arvind Ojha in Goa, Bureau Report, India Today. You don't bought the news track over 120 hours after he was charged with raping minor girls. The Muruga Mutt Lingayatsia continues to roam free. Today, after days of outrage, the girls living at the Mutt Hostel were moved out, but the seer himself stays safe at the premises. What is the Karnataka police waiting for? It has been over 118 hours since a rape case was lodged against him. But the Lingayat Matsya Shivamurti Muruga Sharanaru still roams free. The police paid another visit to the Mutt on Wednesday but did not take the seer into custody. 
The pontiff is accused of raping two minor girls. That's right, child rape of two minor girls staying at the school hostel attached to the mud. Shivamurti is booked under the Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act or POXO, a non-bailable offence. The seer has claimed the rape case is a conspiracy against him. With elections in view, political leaders and other seers have rallied behind Shivamurti. Union Minister Prahlad Joshi and former Karnataka Chief Minister and BJP MLA Jagdish Shetar are the latest to come out in his support. Arresting, non-arresting is a not issue. The investigation should be proper. I hope the Karnataka government and Karnataka police are uh, doing the proper investigation. Swamiji already expressed that is uh, some vested interest. This all false allegations have been made. He is cooperating for the investigation. Uh, and in the legal process, what investigation is going on? It is going on. And law will take its own course. The lone voice demanding action against the Lingayat seer is BJP MLC H. Vishwanath. Why do you think the BJP has not instructed the police to act and arrest him? I don't know. Because the, the, the ruling party has to pay for it in the next elections. The people of Karnataka are watching. You are part that of the too. BJP, sir. Maybe, I may be the part of the BJP, but I am for the law of the land. I am for the uh, harassment against uh, these minor girls. Right. Because I am for the protection of those, you know. A counter complaint has been filed against former JDS MLA and former Muruga Mutt administrator SK Basavarajan by Rashmi, warden of the Mutt. The second FIR charges the former administrator with rape and kidnapping. The complainant warden is also an accused in the original POXO case against the Mutt Pontiff. Elections in the state are scheduled next year and no political party wants to offend the powerful Lingayat community. But it surely exposes the insensitive, even cowardly Nethas who are fine with doing politics even on a child rape case. With Sagai Raj in Chitra Durga, Karnataka, Bureau Report, India Today. This is where I wrap up the news track tonight. For your time and your trust, thank you very much. Wishing all of you a very happy Ganesh Chaturthi. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow evening at 8pm. Till then, from all of us here, goodbye, goodnight.